What's going on, everybody? Once again, Jeff and I back talking about some oil coolers. Oil coolers. That's right. Specifically, though, we were talking about engine oil coolers. Is that correct? Yes. Important to note. That is important to note for a lot of the things we'll be going over today. So, I think first thing first, what does an oil cooler do other than cool your oil? You have the stock oil cooler in your car, and it really is more of an oil warmer. Um, it's cooled using engine coolant, so it runs basically at 200 degrees all the time. Um, but under high load, your oil temps will go far and above that, 250 easily. Um, this does not do a good job of controlling that kind of uh, temperature uh, under racing conditions, track days, autocross, you name it, um, even just uh, spirited driving. Um, so then we make the parent oil coolers that uh, separate the job of this to using ambient air instead of coolant to cool yep. off your oil. Okay. Well, what would be some of the benefits or, you know, differences, yeah. you could say, from a stock oil cooler to a parent oil cooler? Uh, we did a great test on our dyno and ran a car over and over and over again. We did the exact same test right after installing oh, our oh, oil. Wait, oh, hold gosh, hold oh gosh, oh gosh. I got stuck for a second. There's, there's something over here. Oh, oh look, it's a graph. Oh, this graph, yeah. Yeah, okay. this graph. Um, and on the dyno, we instantly put on our oil cooler and found a 15 to 30 degree temp drop with running the exact same 400 horsepower car over and over and over again. Um, it was like 21, 20 runs in a row. Um, mm -hmm. And so it can drop your oil temp significantly under high load conditions. That was one of our tests. We've proved on the road, other track days, lots of things. So, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what you want your oil cooler to be doing anyway. Overall performance benefits to upgrading to our oil cooler and maybe in focusing on the everyday driver, maybe spirited driving on the weekend. Yeah. But I'm not taking my car to a track every weekend. What are my performance benefits? Um, there's a few things. One is engine life. If your oil temps are not exceeding, let's say, 240 degrees all the time, um, your oil viscosity starts to break down as it gets hotter, it gets thinner. You can have issues with bearing life. Um, the oil's not thick enough to support the extra power. So when you have 400 horsepower on up, there's a lot more stress in the bearings in the engine. Having the oil maintain that temperature is good. Um, another thing is it actually helps control detonation because, or knock, because it is cooling the cylinders better than having hot oil sprayed in the bottom of the pistons um, or splash on them really. Um, so that's the real world performance benefit a normal person that's driving the street might find is that their um, engine's gonna last longer and they will have less knock and detonation problems, which is good. What's included when you purchase one of our oil cooler kits? Yeah, well, every oil, kit, oil cooler kit comes with, well, the oil cooler. Um, we use something that's very different than anyone else, which is a bar and plate core. Right. The bar and plate core does the same job of cooling, but it is much less restrictive. So you don't have an oil pressure drop across this like you do with a lot of them. Um, so it starts with that. And then every kit is designed specifically for each model. So it comes with hoses that are pre-cut, pre-assembled. So not only do we uh, include these extra clamps to secure the hoses from coming off under extreme conditions. We also include a uh, pyro shield that covers certain parts of the hose that goes around headers and other high temperature things. Yes. Um, so that's a really important thing. Um, and then here's just a bunch of different brackets that we have that are mounting in various locations on the cars and for different models of cars. Um, so those all come with it. Um, then they also come with typically a spacer of some sorts to remount the thermostat uh, into a different location to make it install easier. Sure. Um, every kit comes with a MoCal brand thermostatic valve. This is key because if you don't have this, um, the oil will be way too cold all the time because it's always flowing through the cooler, which you don't want. You actually want it to not flow, th flow through this until the temps Rise. get up to a certain point. Sure. Um, that's what comes with all of our kits. Awesome. Yeah. So um, by the sounds of it, and of course, I've seen them before, I've assembled them. You get everything you need to do a 
at home install, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, what about our kit options? Now, hmm. as far as uh, what we've got on the table, I know this is an example of our standard um, engine oil cooler, but we recently uh, just announced our top mount oil cooler. And if you haven't seen that video, go check that one out. Uh, and we also have uh, two other options, which I will let you go over. But I think good thing to start on maybe is our standard oil cooler. Yeah, standard oil cooler, cooler kit comes with everything you kind of see here, but longer hoses, clearly. Yep. This wouldn't work very well in the car. You must <laughs> need much longer hoses. Then we have the top mount kit, yeah. which is very similar with actually short hoses, some custom check valves, some other things. Then we have our tutor kit, which includes the core and the mounting brackets for it. So someone could buy their own hose, route it their own way, do whatever. That's an important one for customers that have aftermarket parts like different headers and things where they may not quite work with the factory okay. parts. And then we have um, the core by itself. It's universal, has nothing other than just this is in the box. Okay. That's it. Great. Since we went over kind of the, uh, the different kits we offer with the, the standard, the top mount, the tuner kit, and the universal kit, what's our compatibility looking like for all of these? Uh, we support all the 2002 to current turbo cars, first of all. Cool. Um, we're always adding new applications, normally aspirated engines, um, even some for uh, CVT specific cars. Mm -hmm. um, so we're always expanding and we always will. Awesome. And of course, if you're curious about the fitment for any of the kits that we mentioned, just head over to the corresponding web pages for all these, which I will have linked in the description down below. And we have full compatibility charts right there on the website. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we've been uh, rolling out a slew of new videos. So if you want to stay in the loop of new part releases or just these kind of uh, general tech talks that we go over, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you liked this video, y'all know what to do.